Hi everyone, let us discuss this example. In this example, we have this line integral and we have to find its value using Green's theorem. So let us call the given line integral as i. Okay, so let me write here our i we have. We have, what is the integral we have? I am calling it as i. Integration over c y plus 3x dx plus 2y minus x dy. So this is the integral we have and c, uh, this integration over c where c is an ellipse x square plus y square by 4 is equal to 1. Okay. So we have to solve the this line integral using Green's theorem. So let us write the statement of Green's theorem first. Okay. So let me write by Green's theorem. By Green's theorem. Do you remember uh, in previous videos we have already seen the statement of Green's theorem. This Green's theorem is line integration over c p dx plus q dy is equal to double integration over r deba q by deba x minus deba p by deba y dx dy. So Green's, Green's theorem says the value of line integral over c can be calculated by solving double integration also over region r where region r is bounded by closed curve c. Okay, so both give the same value. Right, so we have to find the value of this line integral using Green's theorem. That means actually we have to find the value of right hand side. Whatever the value we will get at the end, we will put it here. That will be the required value of line integral. Okay, so let us find what is p and what is q here. Here, p. As you can see here, p is a multiple of dx. So what is multiple of dx here? y plus 3x. So this is our p. y plus 3x. So let us find q. Q is here multiple of dy. So what is multiple of dy here? 2y minus x. So 2y minus x is our q. See, as you can see here, we want the values of deba q by deba x and deba p by deba y. So let us find those partial derivatives. Derivative of p with respect to y we want. Okay, derivative of p with respect to y. As you know, if addition is there, we take separate separate derivatives. Derivative of y is 1 plus I am taking a separate derivative of that 3x. But see, there is no any y. That means when you take derivative with respect to y, that 3x is a constant and derivative of constant is 0. So 1 plus 0, so we'll have 1. Let us find deba q by deba x. So we, we are going to find derivative of q with respect to x. There is a minus sign, so we can take separate separate derivative. Derivative of 2y will be 0 since we are finding derivative with respect to x. So any function of y will be constant and derivative of constant is 0 minus. Derivative of x, derivative of x with respect to x is 1 obviously. So our value is minus 1. So in this way we got the uh, deba p by deba y which is 1 and deba q by deba x which is equal to minus 1. Okay. So let us apply Green's theorem. Let me write here. Then, then, then uh, by Green's theorem by Green's theorem. Okay, so let me write i again. What, what is the i we have? Line integration over c. y plus 3x dx plus 2y minus x dy. So this is equal to, I am using Green's theorem. So Green's theorem says uh, p dx plus q dy is equal to double integration. So the value of this line integral is nothing but line, uh, double integration over r deba q by deba x. What is deba q by deba x? Now we have got its minus 1. So let me write here minus 1 minus deba p by deba y. We have got its value 1. Let me put here. And after that we should write dx dy. Okay. So minus 1 minus 1 means minus 2. It's a constant. So we can take outside the integration. Right. So we got minus 2 double integration over r dx dy. Okay. So do you remember when we have a double integration without having any function, there is no any function, simply we have dx dy. So it gives the area of region r, okay. So this is formula of uh, area of region r. So this is minus 2 and double integration dx dy, that means area of r. r means what? r is a region which is bounded by this closed curve c, bounded by this closed curve c. Okay, I'm going to write everything here. But see, I want some more space, so make a screenshot of it. I'm going to rough it. 
okay so uh, here c is an ellipse as you can see here x square plus y square by 4 is equal to 1 so let me write it here again it is x square plus y square by 4 that means we can write 2 square x square below that there is nothing so it is 1 square and it is equal to 1 okay so i have expressed this equation of ellipse in its standard form what is the standard form of ellipse its standard form is x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1. So, a is a x intercept and b is a y intercept. If you compare this one, you can easily see a is equal to 1. So, the x intercept is 1 getting so uh, that ellipse cuts x axis at point 1 0 and minus 1 0. And what is b? b is equal to 2. So, that's why the y intercept is 2 to n minus 2. So, it will be here 0 comma 2 and here we will have 0 comma minus 2. So, that means the given ellipse will be like this. So, this, this type of ellipse we have this is a curve C. This is a curve C. Get it? And uh, see area of region R. R means what? R is a region bounded by this closed curve C. So, whatever the region we have inside this C that is nothing but R. Okay, so we want its area, that means simply we want the area of ellipse. So we have a standard formula to find area of ellipse. So that formula is, let me write here, minus 2, the formula is pi a b. This is formula of uh, area of an ellipse, ready? So pi, what is a? So just now we have got a is equal to 1, so that's why I can write 1, and b, b is equal to 2, so let me put it here, 2. So the answer will be minus 4 pi, okay? So this is the required answer. Make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. Bye-bye.